in the previous task we have seen how to display numbers or array of numbers with indexes now we will see how to display strings with array of strings and indexes we'll create a new project and name it as display name through index we'll create a new variable and we'll set all the variables or in the value we'll keep this names Vajrang, Surabhi, Parvati, Narendra, Krishna and Swati and let's go ahead and assign all the values to array of names which is a array of strings type now let's go ahead and create a variable and at the last activity is trying to add a log message activity and in this log message activity we will add array of names in the brackets we will give the index value so instead of getting 0 array of 0 we are going to get Vajrang as a value let's go ahead and work with the code create a new project and let's give the name as display name through index so we are displaying some string value using index and we'll do the same activity let's go ahead and assign a variable and in this set variable we'll go and open expression editor since this is an array we need to add this value inside curly braces and all the strings must be inside double quotes Vajrang and Surabhi Parvati Narendra we have four values click on save and let's try to add this to a variable and the variable name is arr of strings or names arr of names and if you're seeing here in the last task this is array of integers now this is array of strings so it is automatically taking or it is dynamically taking the value by based on the inputs that we have given let's go ahead and add log message activity in this log message activity let's go ahead and try to click on open expression editor arr of names in this we are going to give index the first index value is zero when we click on save we are going to get the result as Vajrang because the first value is Vajrang so we got Vajrang now what if we want to get the fourth item that is Narendra all we need to do is click on the plus symbol and change this one instead of 0 it should be 3 because we will have 3 as the last index since we have 4 items let's go ahead and run this and see if we are going to get there is a space in between hopefully this should not yeah this ran successfully and we got Narendra what if we want to show all the items now click on this open expression editor let's go ahead and give zero we cannot give zero one two three four that is not the correct format we need to give array of names and then plus this is one plus this is two plus this is three so since we have only three indexes up to three index we'll click on save if we give four then it will throw an error let's go ahead and run this code and let's see how this will work So we are able to get all the values in one string format one extra tip what if we want to display all the names dynamically without giving the indexes for example there can be 100 items i cannot give all the indexes right now what we can do we can click on log message activity in the log message let's go ahead and click on plus and use variable and set variable and we will use area of variable names and then item so when we add this one this will be included inside a for loop and in this for loop we are going to send in the array names as values as input and each item will be assigned to a current text when we are seeing this log message the current text value is a dynamic value that is generated in the for loop using this we are going to get all the values in the output let's go ahead and see this as a result i'm going to change this to a warning sign so that it will be in a different color 
let's go ahead and run this code and now if you are seeing this we have all the values from the previous log message that is this one which is giving us all the values and the other log message which is adding one row at a time or one item at a time to the output panel so this is the way how you can write all the items for example if i have 200 items bot will print all the 200 items without giving any indexes let's do a quick recap of what we have done we created a new project and in that new project we have added a variable and in that variable we added all the names and later we have added a log message and we have given variable and the brackets index you if there are five items you can give up to four indexes zero to four and then we executed the code and this can be the final result and how you need to see a result hey amazing viewers hope you are loving our content if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button right now